Hey everybody, it's Sarah Griffith. Today I wanted to talk to you about a conversation that I had with one of my clients and it really resonated with me because I think that so many people are in this exact same boat. So what I want to talk to you about right now is happiness and confidence and just embracing where you are. So when we had this conversation, she was talking about the weight that she wanted to lose and how she will feel so much better if she's just this size or if she can just, you know, lose X amount of weight, then she will, she'll just, everything will change. And I'm here to tell you that that feeling is common. Um, I have been coaching now for three and a half years and that's what I hear. They come to me and they say that their happiness is dependent upon the amount of weight that they're going to lose. And I just, I want to take a step back and I want you guys to know a few things. The first thing that I want you to know is that that conversation happens a lot. It happens with most women who join me. And I say women because they only work with women. And when we have our initial conversation, they say, I'm not who I used to be. I've gained so much weight, I don't feel like I used to. I'm not happy right now, I'm lethargic. I don't know how to get back to where I was. These are all things that come out of these women's mouth. And they say, I'm so sorry, and they apologize, and they're just flustered with themselves and the situation that they're in. And I think they feel hopeless. I don't think that at that moment, I don't think they feel inspired. And honestly, at that moment, I will tell you that they don't always believe in themselves. They reach out to me as their lifeboat. And they, they in that moment, need help. But what they don't realize is that they're not alone. Like I said, this is a conversation that when people get started, almost every person has has with me. And they tell me that, you know, they're just not they're just not happy and they do, just need to lose this weight and then they'll feel better. And and yes, they will feel better. And yes, their confidence will grow. But I'm here to break some news to you. I'm here to let you know that your happiness cannot be dependent upon what the scale says. It does not matter. If you are a size zero, a size six, a size 26, guess what's going to happen? Whenever you get to that goal weight, whatever that goal weight is, you're going to find yourself picking pieces apart and you're going to find yourself saying, you know what, I got to that size, but now my skin's flabby. Or, you know, I lost 20 pounds, but man, I, my arms are weak looking, you know, I don't have guns or I am a size zero, but I have, you know, maybe you're, you're not comfortable with something. There is always something. And, and just so that you guys know, you know, I work with women at both ends of the spectrum. I get the ones who come to me and say, Sarah, I need help losing 60 pounds or a hundred pounds. And I also get the women who say, you know what, I only need to lose five or 10 pounds, but I'm just not happy with where I am. And I'm not, I'm exhausted and I'm not taking care of myself. I want you all to know that there are people at all sizes of the spectrum, whether it's size zero, size 10, size 16, who aren't taking care of themselves. So I just really want you guys to understand that happiness has to come from somewhere other than your gene size, other than what the scale is going to tell you. Because if you base your happiness or your self-worth or your self-confidence on that number, you're never going to be, be feeling fulfilled or happy because I promise you, it's always something. It's always something next that you want and that you're pushing for. So I just want you as, as you begin your weight loss journey or maybe as you're on it, maybe you've been on this journey for a long time and you're saying, I'm tired because you get weary on this journey. It's not easy. Um, I want you to realize that you need to be happy with the fact that you're committed to your health that you've taken a step in the right direction and that you're doing something that so many Americans and other people are not doing. They're not taking the time to care for themselves. So I want you to step back from the scale and from whatever weight you may have to lose or whatever muscle you want to tone up. And I want you to say, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for caring about my health and my nutrition and the habits that I'm going to pass on to the generations who come after me. I am telling you that one of the things that I take the most pride in as a health and fitness coach is not the fact that I fit into my pre-pregnancy genes anymore. That does not make me proud. What makes me proud is that amongst having a new baby, amongst difficult things that may have come up in my life, I still make the effort to care about what I'm fueling my body with and to care about what I'm teaching my family. 
I care that someday I want my children to know how to manage stress. I want them to know that exercise is the relief from the stress that they're gonna encounter in life. I want them to know how to eat healthy and I want them to know how to make good choices so that they can age well and so that they can enjoy a healthy lifestyle. And so right now, I don't care about my pregnancy pants. I don't care about my arms that look flabby. I care that someday my kids, not only my kids, they're gonna know healthy habits, but hopefully if I do this job well enough, my grandkids will know healthy habits too. So I just want you to step back and, and remind yourself of all those things as you go on this journey, that, that happiness and self-worth will never come from that number. And I want you to keep going regardless of how long your journey is. Wishing you guys the best. See you soon.